Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes and this is video 6 of the framework development series and in this video we're going to see how we could uh, convert the existing test into the page object model. Previously I have mentioned you know could you could have you don't have to use page object model uh, in playwright because if you are going to create a uh, less number of tests following test permit um uh, or testing trophy uh, and then if you are going to create very less number of uh, tests it, it may not be really worth it but then there is also benefits of using page option model and then if you are going to create a lot of tests and uh, you know in that cases page option model can be really helpful and that's what we are going to cover in this particular video right so without wasting any time <clears throat> let's go back and this is the existing test that we have written uh, so let's copy this test and what i'm going to do is i want to create a new uh file of this add employee uh, uh with page of it model whatever and spec the ts right so and then i'll copy paste all these things here um and then let's go one by one again if you notice this is from login page and this is all from the home page right so um let's go ahead and uh, convert this move this to the login login page right so let's go ahead create a directory called as pages and inside pages let's create a file called as uh, login page.ts again guys please look at the convention here um you know it's it's all the camel casing and uh, if you go ahead uh, basically i'm going to create a class called as login page and uh, I have a constructor basically to receive the page, uh, the picture page itself. So, so what you can do is this is of type page and page, right? So this page is coming from your playwright code. And what you need to do is normally we do like this, right? So private uh, page page, and we will do this dot page page. So this is the conventional way of doing things in Java, and you can also follow this approach, but then. um if you are going to have uh, this local uh, class level instance uh, you can sh shorten this right you, you can remove these two lines and then you can just simply put private uh, read only and what this does is um, whatever we have written before it's still there so even if you have a method let's say here as login and uh, you could you could basically use this dot page so this is basically uh, you know available on so this is a uh functionality in typescript uh, so we could use make use of it uh, so yeah so this so we have already got the method here but then um you know we want to move these uh, things um to the variable section so what i'm going to do is private uh, read only um, and then uh, we want to name this uh, username uh, text box or whatever and then uh, and here i could basically copy this and paste it here uh this dot page dot yeah so it looks good and these things are not here and here you could just say this dot username text box dot uh fill and then whatever the username uh is being passed from the test we will use that right so let's let's also do the other things so private uh password text box again guys github copilot is really really helpful so i don't have to do all these th things by myself right so this saves a lot of time for me so please consider purchasing github copilot license if you have it purchased one see i didn't do this so it, it got all the knowledge from our existing code here and then it basically used it and now we have to export this class so export uh, uh default and login page so login page now i can go here and uh, basically create an instance for a uh, login page and yeah so now i will import this page from the pages and it it just populates everything for me so this is how fast you could code with the help of uh, you know github copilot now um, you know let's go ahead and see the rnhr on the page so for example once you log out you can see this is your login page we have completed all this um so if i log in again <clears throat> so 
So you could see uh, this is the left menu, right? So left menu component. So again, guys, if you have if you have watched my Serenade, you can understand uh, how we could structure these uh, components well in the page layers, right? So again, people, some people just put everything as home page and then they treat it uh, like that. But then in this case, uh, let's say this is a left menu component and it's visible all the time. Uh, let's say even if you go here, it's there all the time. So we want to call this as a left menu component and we want to call the top layer as top menu component, okay? So all these things we can consider, let's say for this one, we can call it as a PIM page. Uh, this one we can call it as leave leave page or something like that. But in in our case, um, what whatever the page that we logged in, uh, after logging, we will call it as a home page. And this home page consists of left menu component and the top menu component, right? So let's go ahead and uh, start creating more pages. Um, so like, let's go ahead and create homepage.es and uh, this one is class uh, homepage and then uh, same way we want to have the constructor and then private uh, read only page, right? All good. And then don't worry about the formatting. We have got it covered with the help of uh, Prettier. So we don't have to really worry about it. Again, it's suggesting me to create. Uh, uh, so you can you can basically create one locator for all of this. So for example, it suggested uh, for PIM, it suggested one. So you can create something like this. And for add employee link, so for everything it is suggesting one. Instead of all these things, what you could do is first let's create a method called as uh, select uh, select left menu item, right? Because it's it's a left menu, right? Okay, so maybe what I can do is this home page consists of um, two, two things, right? So home page is of time three. Sorry. Home page, sorry guys, I want to put my thoughts together. Uh, so home page consists of left menu component and or top menu component. Okay, so so whenever I got confused, I'll, I'll do this. You can also follow this approach. Uh, so this consists of two components. So first, let's go ahead and create a components folder. Uh, and then inside it, let's create a file called as left menu component ES. And let's also do this uh, class left menu component uh, constructor. And then uh, it should be private page. And this one, if somebody is going to select any of these menu, we could just have wrap, have them wrapped in just one method. So select left menu item. Left menu item. item. Yeah. So now what it says is, um, it shouldn't be like this. So if somebody is passing a menu item, so what I'm going to do is private, uh, read only, uh, then let's say this sometimes this this class of product. So, what I'm going to do is let's call it as menu. And uh, if somebody is giving me a menu name, right? So, if somebody is giving me a menu name of type string, what I'm going to do is Let's replace this with menu. Now, what happens is here you could simply say this dot uh, menu, and then you can pass the menu item to as simple as that. And then you could avoid this, right? So now what we are doing is see in case of Java, what we normally do, we will use um, a dynamic spot, right? So we will construct the locator dynamically. But in TypeScript or JavaScript ecosystem, um, you know, your your Lambda expressions are first class addition. So it's very normal to use them, right? So so we have a method that accepts string and uh, based on the string, it, it replaces this. For example, if you pass PIM here, it's gonna click on PIM, right? If you pass leave, it's gonna click on leave. So just by one method and one variable, we're gonna handle everything by ourselves. Again, you, you don't have to even create a separate thing for this you could just put it here but then you know it, it depends upon how we want to code uh you know uh, stuff like that. 
yeah so now this is done similarly uh but then the, there is important thing that we need to export uh this component right similarly we will go ahead and create um top menu actually not like this top menu component yeah and here we will say top menu component oh, constructor yeah and uh, let me go ahead it's, it's going to be very similar to uh, what we have created before so it's suggesting us suggesting us all good so let's say export cool so let's go ahead guys nice again these are all very uh, normal stuff so home page in home page consists of these two things so let's go ahead and create private uh, left menu components let me know component, right? Component type, look, no component. And then here I'm gonna do is this dot left menu component. Yes. Similarly, private top the component imported. Cool. So now we have home page that consists of left menu component and top menu component. Okay, now let's go back here. I want to click on PIM menu. So what I need, I need a home page instance, right? So the first thing that you could do is constant home page equal to home page. Okay, home page is not coming here because um, I haven't exported it. Let's export that, uh, right? And let's export. But now home page dot um, so I don't see any options here because uh, home page I don't have a method. So first I need to click on PIM. So I need to click on PIM menu, right? So for that you could use this select left menu component and then you could do this. Um, instead of that, what I normally prefer is uh, get left menu left menu component and then yeah so I, I prefer prefer this approach um, and then uh, get top menu component so now if I go here home page dot get left menu component dot select menu item pim that's it and then I have to await it and then uh, you can go here home page dot get top menu component dot top menu item add employee right so these two things are now covered now coming back to the important stuff like we want to create uh, an employee this is an look so you click on prim and then i click on add employee now we can call this as a add employee component or add employee page whatever you want and uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and create a new page called as add employee. So this is these are all the problem with problem with page object model. So if you want to structure this properly, it takes a lot of time, right? We, previously, we just recorded the script. That's it. It works. It runs hundred times. It works. The page object model doesn't bring a lot of benefits if you are going to create only few tests. So all these things may not be really worth it. That's very important. Now, uh, what do we have to do? What, what others are doing? So let's learn about it. And then we decide upon whether we want to use or not based upon the situation. Uh, so add employee page. And then um, I could have a constructor here that basically helps us to initialize this page um, and then uh, get by roles. This is this basically suggesting all these things. And then I want the save button and then uh, all good. So now uh, add employee. So it is saying, so you can pass all these things by yourself. Like this is not a good approach, right? You cannot have, you know, these many, variables right that's not a really good approach so 
So what we could do is we could basically have Okay, maybe for now, maybe for now, let's leave it here. We will optimize this going forward, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, remove all these things. And uh, comms, add employee page, this, not this, new. Again, we could optimize all these things, guys, so don't worry about it. Add employee page, but the problem is we haven't export it export like it now it should be fine and add employee page dot add employee and then let's say I pass all these things right um again guys we have a lot to optimize i'll tell you how to do that um so this is basically a wait cool so now the successfully saved is still there um again the problem is if I move this, if I keep, if I want to keep it here, the locator is here. So that doesn't obey with page object model. But I, if I, if I move this element to the, to the add employee page, right? Um, and then write the assertion in the test itself, then playwright uh, ESLint will complain, hey, you cannot write your assertion there. So what I have to do is I need to go ahead and create a method, uh, create a variable, something like this successfully save and then come here instead of this I should do uh, add employee page dot uh, success message to be visible so this way playwright doesn't complain this way a playwright ESLint doesn't complain this way we don't disobey page object model so everything kind of seems okay right um, again guys there is a lot of improvement that we could make one is right we could uh, we could use kind of page chaining, but uh, we will not completely do it. We will do a little bit, and then we could uh, remove this and create an object for this, uh, so that uh, it becomes more easy. Similarly, um, there are other optimizations as well. So we will do one by one. Like for example, we can randomly generate uh, these uh, values from from Faker or other other random uh, uh, value generating libraries. So we'll do all that in the upcoming videos. Uh, if you have liked this video so far, please give uh, a like and, uh, and also leave your feedback in the comment section. See you guys in another great video. Bye-bye.